I'm Kevin Belton, inviting you to join me as we explore the festival foods of my hometown on New Orleans Celebration. Here's a taste of my new series, Crawfish Enchiladas Con Queso. Mmm, -mm, you're gonna love this one. Hi, gang. Welcome to my courtyard kitchen, and thank you for joining me for this celebration of New Orleans. Nothing says party in Louisiana like crawfish. And when it's springtime in New Orleans, oh, crawfish is king. We eat these flavorful crustaceans, all of our restaurants, we boil them in our backyards. Crawfish festivals are throughout the entire area. So today, I'm looking forward to celebrating this baby right here, crawfish. So we're gonna kick it off with crawfish enchiladas con queso. That means cheese. We're gonna get a little butter down in our pan. Of course, we have some onions. We have a little bell pepper. But you know what you aren't gonna see? You aren't gonna see celery in this. I'm not, I decided to do this recipe without celery. Now, let me show you a little something that I like to do. You see that butter in there? We're gonna take a little bit of our Creole seasoning. The reason you see me do this is because that little bit of seasoning in here helps wake it up. By sauteing and adding seasoning at different times, it adds flavor and it opens things up. So we'll get our onions in. And remember, you don't want the pan too hot when you put in butter. So that's why the pan wasn't too hot, but you can see it's a nice sizzle now. Let's go ahead in, also with this little pinch of salt at this time. We're gonna make a cheese sauce. And that cheese sauce, we're gonna get a little salt from that cheese, but because we're using cream, that's why we need that extra seasoning in here. Green chilies. Oh, green chilies. So a little bit of green pepper. So I had about a, eh, about a cup and a half of onions, a cup of the green chilies, just about a cup of the bell pepper. This is sauteing down, you know, really, really tight. You could see our seasonings in there. So we're gonna get our heavy cream in. And this is gonna help make our sauce. So this cream is going to heat up. We're gonna bring this up to a nice, you know, where it's boiling around the edges. So now I'm gonna start slowly working in our sour cream so we can get that melted and dissolved. At the same time, this is gonna start to reduce, and this sour cream, as it heats up, it's gonna cause our sauce to thicken. It's not gonna thicken too much, because once we get the cheese in, that's gonna help thicken it up even more so. And now, this is a little Monterey Jack I'm putting in. You know, use the cheese that you like. Let's get some more in. Now, I'm not gonna get all the cheese in because I wanna save some to put on the top, but I just want our cheese to melt and to thoroughly get mixed in. Oh, this is looking so good, so good. Once I melt this little bit, now it's gonna be time for the star of the show, our crawfish. Now, let's take this, a little bit of green onion, Get a little bit of green onion in there. And now we're gonna get in our crawfish. Look at that, come on. Get, oh yes. Now I can turn our fire down because we just wanna fold our crawfish in. So this is hot enough to where it's gonna warm our crawfish up. Remember, they're already blanched, but now they get a chance to absorb the seasoning and some of the flavors here because they're gonna cook longer in the oven. That's why I went ahead, turned it to a real low fire, and now I can actually go ahead and turn this off. This is ready. So now we can start to build our enchiladas. Now we want our tortillas just to heat up really great on each side, about 10 seconds per side. So let's get ready to build this. It's easier if we move everything to one side. I've learned this the hard way, gang. Look, let's put our tortilla in. Let's get the other one here. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of our mixture, put it right in there, and we just roll it over till it folds down. Let's get the other one in. Here we go. A little bit more sauce. And we're just going to roll that baby over and put it right next to the other one. Come on. Stay there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You get in. Let's get a little bit of sauce in this one. And that sauce that leaks out, it's okay. Fold it. Roll it. There you go. And just roll it right on up. Let's take some of this. And we're just going to go right over the top. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, so if it didn't get inside, that's all right. We've got a little more green onion we can sprinkle on. And of course, we have some more of our cheese. Get that cheese right over the top. Basically, we're going to put this in the oven. Now, the oven is preheating 350 degrees. So we need our cheese to melt. So we're going to put this in the oven. Ah, ah, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. We want to get that cheese melt to be nice and bubbly. I sometimes leave it in long enough for the cheese to actually get brown on the top. Oh, baby, it is so good. Crawfish enchiladas, can't wait till they come out. Whoo! Oh, look, look, look. Oh. It's all nice. It's all bubbly. We can toss it for a little more color. Just a little bit of green onions on the top. And I tell you what, gang, I know this sounds crazy. If you like a crunch, a little bit of breadcrumb if you want a little bit of a crunch. Oh, man. There we have our crawfish enchiladas con queso. For more fun and my festival-inspired dishes, tune into New Orleans celebrations on WYS TV Channel 12. Saturday mornings at 9.30 and Sundays at 1. If you live outside the New Orleans area, contact your local PBS station for air dates and times. Now, let's get this party started.